Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Design. Today I will be taking you on a tour of the cutest, the sweetest room in the house. It is the baby girl's room. Everyone always wants to see this room when they come to my house. It is just packed with so much character and just lots of DIYs and everything. And I just love this room. I decorated it top to bottom. I had so much fun. But before we start the tour, I'm going to give you a little family history so you kind of understand why this room is so small and how it came to be. So before we bought this house, we had three kids and if you've seen my home tours, like we have a very large, nice house, but it was not always that way. Before we purchased this house, we actually lived in a small trailer and all the kids shared a room and we just saved all our money like lived on as little as possible and saved everything because we had the dream of either building or purchasing the house that we wanted. So not only did me and my husband sacrifice for this house, so did the kids. So when we purchased this house, they each had their own room. They had always shared a room, so it was a big deal for them to each have their own room. I went all out and got stuff that we wanted and we talked about it and dreamed about it. And it was just like a great thing for our family when we bought this house. So a year into this house, they all have their own room. We find out we are pregnant. We are having another baby. And I was like, I didn't know what to do because just at the ages that they're at and the genders that they are, I didn't know who would have to share a room. And then we had like this small area where we had planned on turning it into my office, but we just never made the time to do it. So I measured it and I told my husband, I'm like, I can fit a crib in this room. I, I think this is our best option. Let me turn this into the nursery. Then nobody will have to share a room. I just didn't see how sharing a room would work. So it is small but it's definitely worked out. None of my kids have ever slept in the room with me. They always go straight into their crib and sleep in their own room. So her being in my room wasn't an option either. So she has her own room and I just wanted it to be like the perfect vintage room. And I just had so much fun decorating this room. And it's just, I don't know, it's just awesome. And you know, the baby was a surprise, she wasn't planned, but she has definitely been just the best gift ever. We all love her so much. And if you've had a kid, a baby with older kids, you will know that it's just a totally different experience. It's like, they're the moms and the dads too, and they're in this with you. And it's just great being ever to share the experience of having this baby with them. They just love her so much and it's so much easier. Like my youngest two were 16 months apart and it's like, you're just trying to survive at this point. So this is definitely a different experience. We're at a different stage of life and just having these older kids to help out and be a part of her life has just been amazing. So I'm not saying it was a bad surprise. She's definitely been a true blessing and we found a little room for her and it's absolutely perfect. We love it, she loves her room. So I hope y'all enjoy this tour. Now, there are lots of DIYs in this room, but I did this room before I started filming. So I'll try to explain as much as possible how I did these projects. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to explain a little bit better. Here's the baby's room. Now when you walk in, I have these double glass French doors. This was something new that we purchased to put here because what was here before were two closet doors and I didn't want something solid. I wanted something see-through. I thought it would really open up the room and it did. Let me move this basket so you can see what it looks like closed. And then I just hung two wreaths on the door and it really gave it a great look. Now these doors were brand new and I'll post a link to the video below how I got this aged look on them. 
I just used a mixture of water and antiquing wax to get the perfect look. And these are actually not working knobs. These are from Hobby Lobby and they're still available. They're like hangers. So you would put them up on a wall and you would hang, you know, your coat or your towel on them. And I just needed something on one side of the door. So I got these and I think they were like a teal color. I painted them black and the little crystal knobs with the little keyhole. It was just a perfect vintage look that I was going for and worked out great since I didn't need actual working doorknobs. They have the little things at the top that can keep the door closed. Now I did have the thought like, oh, I could put her in here. I could close the door, she'll play. Yeah, that never happens. So <laughs> these doors just stay open, but I'm glad to have them in case we ever need like uh, to close the doors and stuff. And they just look cute. Like it, it definitely opens up the room like I had imagined. I think if there was solid doors, it just wouldn't feel as open. And then I have just a small rug. I love my rugs. So I just got this small rug to put right here. She has a little basket of toys right here. And this is one of my favorite pieces in the house. I didn't pick up baby wipes. Those should be hidden, right, for the video? Um, I purchased this on Facebook Marketplace. I actually paid like $350 for this piece. But I just loved it so much I had to have it. I still talk to the lady that I bought it from. And she's happy to know that it is loved because she loved this piece as well. And it just has this perfect like vintage age to it. I mean you just can't recreate this stuff. It's just so cute. And she loves like looking at herself when I'm changing her. And then the drawers work out good because I can pick up you know the baby wipes and the the um, diapers and all that stuff are in these drawers. And since the room is so small, storage was definitely essential. And I like having a changing table. I know it's not necessary for everybody, but I always change it right here. It just makes life simpler. And then on top, you know how I love my baskets. So I have this little collection of baskets that I put stuff in. That's her little bear that I take pictures of her every month with. And then this basket, I just put a lace W in it. This one has a little bird. This one has some flowers. I just love the way baskets look on the wall. So we did a little collection of them. And then I have a little blanket ladder right here. And all of these blankets are kind of special. This one's from her aunt. This one's from our neighbor. This one is also from our neighbor. This one's from my aunt that she made that for her. And this other ones from one of my aunts as well. So these are, sometimes she uses them, but these are like mostly decorative blankets. And then you can never have too many blankets. She also has this little basket right here with blankets. So these are like plant baskets that I got at a garage sale, but they're in good shape. They're not dirty. So I use them to put her blankets in and her toys in and they just look cute and picked up and then here's her bed actually this bed was at Wayfair for I think $99 it was not expensive but it was the exact look I was going for it's metal it's pink it is adorable and then my aunt made her this blanket for Christmas so this one's her new favorite blanket and she absolutely loves sleeping with that crocheted blanket then here's some custom pillows that were made. My cousin made these. I actually want to put her name on this little one. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. And then if you saw my Christmas decor video, my cousin also made this. But it was just too cute to pick up. So I just turned it the other way and now it goes in her bed. Oh, the birds are flying around. And then my cousin also made this bird. It was from... Um, my grandma's house it was a bedspread on our bed and so when my sister had a baby I had her make a blanket for her and when I found out I was having one I asked her if she could just make a little bird because I knew I would not need another blanket so I just wanted kind of something decorative my cousin sews she is awesome she makes the cutest stuff so I sent her this idea I wanted a mobile my kids have always loved the mobile. Each one of them have it, 
had it when they were a baby and they love listening to the music. But I was looking at vintage mobiles and they were insanely expensive. So of course, me being me, I'm like, how can I get the look I want for less? So I asked my cousin if she could make me some little birds made out of vintage looking fabric. And then I purchased this mobile from the thrift store for a couple bucks. It had like bears and fabric and stuff all over it. So I just stripped that off just to get down to the plastic. And then I added the birds that she sent me. And Ren loves this. She loves watching her birds fly. I'm gonna turn it on, hold on a second. So yeah, if you have something you want and it's out of your price range, just, you know, think outside the box. Think how you can make it. And then I was looking for crib sheets. I don't know if y'all have looked for crib sheets, if y'all have cribs, but it is insane how expensive they are. And I just wanted something very simple, a simple pattern. And I couldn't find what I wanted in like a decent price range. I did not want to pay $40 for a crib sheet. So I ended up finding two of these crib sheets at a thrift store and they were like $4 each. So this has worked out perfect. It matches perfectly in here. It's a little bit of a pattern, but it's not too much. These are my favorite curtains. I actually decorated my sister's nursery with these curtains too. I think they're just so like romantic and sweet and just the perfect curtains for our nursery. They are from Target and I can put a link below to them if they still have them. They're just simple curtains with all these little ruffles on it and they're a bunch of them at the top and then as you go down there is less of them and then right over her crib I have this old oh uh, always forget the name of these things these crochet knitting round wood things you know what I'm talking about <laughs> and then I just put some fabric in it and then I just painted a W on there and you know you can chalk paint fabric and distress it so that's what I did. And I actually used the back of the fabric. Let me see if I can take it off and show y'all. So this is the front of the fabric, but I know it's not bright, but it was, I didn't want it to stand out too much. I wanted it to be a little bit more muted. So I went with this side and I painted the W on and just put it on here and really cute, goes with her rum and I don't know I had the knitting round thing already so all it cost me was some fabric so it was super cheap and I don't know how much these are brand new but they can't be that expensive if you wanted to recreate a look like this I have of course a collection of them because I hoard them see here's another little one right here and oh that's another thing I want to say too is I have a few of these and another option is like if it's like this you can put something on top but you can also put fabric on it then put something on top of it as well and that's a cute look i have some stuff like that in the girls bathrooms and then on this side i have shelves i got these shelves recently from kirkland's i just thought they match perfectly with the look that i had going on in here on the first shelf i have some brass i have this brass picture frame and this little brass puppy you'll remember this from one of my thrift hauls if you watched it and then I have a picture of her I believe she was it's kind of hard to see I think she was two weeks old there and then this is from the Dollar Tree it's just like a little cloud I thought it was so cute I have some vintage books with a little floral and I love these vintage Avon bottles when I find one that I really like I pick it up and this one just reminded me of her with a little bonnet and the chubby cheeks and then on the next shelf, I have these antique spools that I had got when we spent the summer in Texas. Her little piggy bank. My husband's brother, every kid we have, he saves up all his change and always gives them a piggy bank. So this one is hers from them. And then if you remember, this was on one of my haul videos as well. I think I paid $8 for it. It was... Um, just this old vintage like raggedy and looking doll but in the perfect colors for her room 
and I just love this. But it's not something I really want her to play with, so it stays up on the shelf as decor. And then the top shelf, okay, I'm hitting my head on the chandelier. Wait till y'all see this chandelier. I didn't show it to y'all yet. And on the top shelf, I have this vintage floral print, just some little glass bottles with some floral, then a vase with some floral, and some birds, of course. We had to put some birds in there. And I just wanted, I like how glass looks in here. It just reflects all the light. And I definitely wanted something high and a little bit brighter. And I wanted something to go all the way up to the ceiling. Because I didn't show y'all yet. But look how amazing her ceiling is. So I wanted these shelves to go all the way up to the ceiling. So your eye really goes up. I can't make this room any bigger, so I'm just trying to make the most of the space that I have, which is vertical. And let me show y'all, it'll be easier with the lights off, her chandelier. Oh my God, I love this. And I wanted these flowers to kind of tie into the chandelier and it just goes perfectly with this wood ceiling. So this is just fence boards that I cut up, I painted in the stress, and then we put them up in this pattern. I kind of wanted it to look like beadboard, but I wanted it to be free. And so fencing is what I had. And the chandelier is just absolutely perfect in here. Next to her bed is the closet. I knew I could make this room work, but I definitely needed a closet. And I wanted the closet to be cute as well. So I came up with this idea to use bifold doors. So these are the old bifold doors that they were put together and like you open them accordion style to get into a closet. Well, what I did was I cut the top panel out and then put this netting. Now you could do chicken wire or something else, but I wanted it to look like a screen because I didn't want you to like really be able to see through it good. So you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't. And that's the look I was going for. And I was looking at new doors and they were going to be about $100 a pair. And it only cost me $10 to make these. And... I think they definitely just add to the look of the room. When you're in such a small room, you need to think about every nook and cranny and just making the most of the space you have. And I just wanted this room to look sweet and old and it definitely needed some screen doors. And then on top of the door, I did a profile. I made this myself on the computer. I just took a side picture of her and then I traced it out on the computer and it has her name and how old she was when I did it. And I just think it's like just a great vintage touch. I just love those silhouettes. And then I forgot to tell y'all this, my favorite cheapest way to make a wreath is just get the garland from Hobby Lobby and then you can make your own wreath out of it. So this was one garland I cut in half and made two wreaths out of it. So it only cost me $10 for the garland. So it was $5 for each of the wreaths. And I just wanted some simple greenery that I could keep up year round. Now these are some cute personal touches right here. I, since her name is Ren, which is, she's named after the bird, I asked each of my kids to draw a picture of a Wren, which this is obviously not a Wren, but that's the youngest one, that's what he did. I'm like, all right, that's fine. So this is my Otis, that's his bird, which he's very good at drawing. I actually have some other stuff he drew for me, around the house. I just love his drawings. That's my little girl's one. And so I framed them up and put them in the room. Now when I'm out shopping, I'm always looking for frames. And this has some like old ugly artwork in it, but I just thought it was so cute with the wood frame. And then it had these little pieces at the top. And I just took out the artwork that was in it and used the frames. So definitely when you're looking like you can just look at the frames like you don't have to use every part of it like you don't need the pictures that are in it you can take that out and put something new in it and I didn't put glass or anything I kind of like that look without the glass 
Plus, if it fell off the wall, then, you know, it wasn't a big deal. And then this is something I made for her room. I just love this saying, angels dance the day you were born. When my other daughter was born, I had bought a little canvas that said this, and I just always loved the saying. And I wanted to put something over the French doors, but I didn't want to put, like, there's already a lot going on in this room, so I just wanted something simple and cute, and this is just perfect. I love this saying. All right, now into the closet. I tried to make the most of the small closet that we have. So I have these shelves here that have her shoes and all her bows. And I still left some more space for more shelves because if she's anything like her sister, we will be filling up this closet with shoes. And then above, I have a huge bulletin board where I could hang up some stuff that I wanted to hang up, but not necessarily wanted to have out in her room. So I have her little banner from her first birthday. I have her outfit she came home from the hospital in. My aunt had made her this bib with an embroidered rent on it. And I loved it, but she didn't need bibs anymore. So I just cut it up and put it on an embroidery hoop. An embroidery hoop! That's the name of those things. I couldn't think of it earlier. Um, this is something I had bought when I was pregnant, but then it didn't really go with her room, so I put it in here. And the little number four onesie, it was like, it was on a onesie and that's what we gave the kids to let them know we were having another baby. Of course, they were like, hashtag number four, you know, they didn't catch on for a while. But <laughs> I wanted to hang that up. And then she has some shelves right here. These are like my favorite little organizers from the Dollar Tree. These little dollar totes and I just have it kind of labeled with all her stuff. You know, girls they have lots and lots of stuff so I put these up I got those little totes it kind of keeps everything organized and it's pretty tall in here so I could go even higher if I wanted like once she gets a little older and has more toys I'll probably put storage higher up to put stuff and then some more headbands girl got lots of headbands her little bonnets and then I also have we're gonna eventually have to put toys in here too. So I have like a little spot to put her books, a little bookshelf. And then if y'all remember this from one of my haul videos, this is a basket I bought to put her dirty clothes in and it works out perfect. Then on this side, I have three rows of hanging clothes. Lots of clothes. And then here I have her diapers, her extra stuff. Okay, here is a great tip for you guys to keep the kids' closet organized. Each one of my kids has a bin like this, and I just use usually like leftover boxes. So I have a box that says doesn't fit or don't fit. And then I have a box that says next size. So most of the time, if you're like me, you figure out that your kids don't fit something when they put it on. And then what you do, put it back in the closet, right? No, you don't. You have a box that says doesn't fit and if it doesn't fit anymore, you put it on that box and I just leave it till the box fills up and then I deal with it. And then when I'm out thrifting and shopping and I see some on sale, I'll pick it up if it's a size up and then I put it in that box that says next size. So when she needs more clothes, all I do is I pull it out. And it just really helps to keep all my kids clothes organized it's something I've done for a long time and it definitely helps out especially if you have a lot of kids if it doesn't fit it gotta go and I just leave it in those boxes until I am ready to deal with it all right guys I think that is everything in this room please let me know what is your favorite part of this room and if you have any questions about anything, let me know. Like I said, I did this room before I started filming YouTube videos, so I don't have any like step-by-step -step instructions or something. But if you want us to know more about it, I can definitely let you know. Ren, tell everybody how you feel about your room.
Oh yeah? You love it? You love your birds? You love your bed? You love your decorations? Yeah! You love everything? All right, tell them bye-bye. Ran, bye-bye. Yeah, good girl. Yay! Say, give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Rin, do you love your room? Where are you going?